Let's go over our movements for our strength training circuit. Exercise one is cherry pickers. We're gonna jump up really tall to reach cherries in this tree and then twisting to put them into our bucket. So we up, twist down. You can totally modify this by just going up onto your toes and still swiveling. You're just taking that jump out. And then halfway through, we'll switch over to this tree and drop them into this bucket. Next exercise is good mornings. We're gonna do it a little differently today. Normally, if we were here in class, we all would have a body bar. So our arms would be out here holding that bar, but not a lot of us have those at home. So we're gonna use a dumbbell. If you do have a body bar at home, go ahead and use that. So I'm holding it right at the base of my neck. Still your same traditional good morning. Feet a little wider than shoulder width, knees are bent, and I'm pushing my hips back, and then I'm resetting up at the top. And then our next exercise is goblet squats. So hold that dumbbell in front of you, make sure it's up and down. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. Sit back on those heels, make sure those toes are pointed forward. And then we're gonna head down to the ground for a half kneeling, single arm bent over row. The side of the body that's, that knee is bent, that's what you're gonna lean on. And we're gonna pull. And then halfway through, we'll switch over to the other side. And then we're gonna stay in a half kneeling position for biceps curls. Whatever leg is bent is completely up to you because we're gonna have a dumbbell in each hand. Okay, so if you wanna switch it back, so if you end with your left leg forward and be like, ah, for biceps, I'd rather have my right, then switch that and then get ready for biceps. And we'll stay like this. We won't switch our half kneeling position halfway, okay? And then after that, we're gonna bring it up for lunge pass unders. So we're gonna step forward into a lunge, pass this dumbbell under the knee to the other hand, step back, and then alternate legs for lunges. So forward, lunge, pass, back. Lunge, pass, step it back, okay? So make sure you alternate that leg. And then we're going to go down to the ground for a floor press. You're going to hold a glute bridge. I want your palms away from you. Lower down, let your back of your upper arms hit the floor, and then bring it up. You can hold down here for one to two seconds, okay? I really want your chest muscles to take over from that movement. When we stop like that, that really activates those chest muscles to pick it back up so you can lift those arms back up, okay? And then we're gonna bring it up to standing and we're gonna do tricep extension, but you're gonna do it angled. So I'm gonna drop my weight down just a little bit. Notice how my elbow's pointing out to the side and then we're gonna extend up. And then halfway through, of course, we will switch and go to the other arm. So your elbow will be pointed out to the side for that one, okay? And then our last two, we have shoulder shrugs. So really get some heavy weights and bring those shoulders up to the ears. And then we have oblique side bends. So you're gonna get rid of one of your heavies and then we'll go down to the sides and then halfway through, we'll switch which arm has that weight. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting with that cardio move, those cherry pickers. Cherry pickers, three, two, one, begin. Whatever side you wanna start with, jumping up, twisting down. Really sit back on those heels when you twist. We're working those obliques. 10 seconds left and then move that tree. Three, two, one, other side. Halfway on this side, you're almost there. Keep moving. Remember your modification if you need to drop down to that. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Grab that dumbbell for good mornings. Again, if you do have a body bar at home or like a dowel, totally use that. Here we go. Three, two, 
One, slow it down. That first exercise warms us up, spikes our heart rate, and then we slow it down for our strength moves. Remember, we have a flat back. Push those hips back, and then reset up at the top every time. That reset means shoulders back, slight hip thrust forward. Ten seconds left. We'll move this weight to the front. Three, two, one. Good job. We have that 15 second transition in between each one. So catch your breath. And then we hold that dumbbell upright. Feet are wider than shoulder width. Toes are forward in three, two, one. Squat. Taking our time, sit back on those heels, trying to keep our body upright. Remember, we don't want to squat like this. We just dig our mornings, right? Hinge on our hips, going into flat back when we squat. Five seconds left, time for one more. Awesome job. All right, down to the ground for bent over row. Remember, the bicep curls right afterwards, so if you want to bring your weight to you so you're ready. Remember, knee that's up, opposite arm is rowing. Ready? And pull. Again, you have that option. If you don't want to have that knee down, you don't have to, okay? Using that upper back, pulling that weight down. Three, two, one. Switch your position. Other arm. Let's go. Even though we're in a half kneeling position, you still need to push your butt back, okay? Almost there. Last five. Three, two, one. Go ahead and kind of stand up, still in that half kneeling, but pull those shoulders back, kind of reset, get ready for those bicep curls. So again, we won't switch this position, so whatever foot you want forward, that's where you're gonna be at, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one, curl. You have to pull that core in tight. We don't want our body swaying forward and backwards when we're curling, okay? Stabilize yourself so you don't move. The only thing moving are our arms to perform the bicep curl. Contract that core. Plant those feet. Slow down your curl. Very good, 10 seconds left. And then we have lunge pass unders. Three, two, one, good job. Lunge pass unders, forward lunges, passing that dumbbell under our bent knee of the front. Stepping back and alternating that leg we step forward with. Three, two, one, begin. 
No need to rush this. I really want you to focus on getting that back knee down to the ground, okay? And then you gotta explode yourself back, push off with that front foot to bring you back to the start. Job. Halfway right here. Almost there. No need to rush. Less than 10 seconds left. Get that back knee down. Three. Two, one, very good. Down to the ground, floor chest press. Get into that glute bridge, palms face away. Begin. Remember that pause at the bottom. One to two seconds. Job, squeeze those glutes on that bridge hold. Keep those hips up. Working our full body here, chest press for the upper body and that glute bridge hold, squeezing those glutes for the glutes and the lower body. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good, bring it on up. Angle tricep extension. Let's all start with our right. Four, three, elbow out to the side and begin. Ten seconds left on this arm. Three, two, one, switch and go. Less than 10 seconds left. And then just two more exercises of this first round. Three, two, one. Very good. Shoulder shrugs. Grab those heavies. Bringing our shoulders up to the base of our ears and then slowly lowering them back down. In three, two, one. Begin. Job, really slow it down. Take all that tension out of your wrist. Don't squeeze the weight too tightly. Super slow and in control exercise. Doesn't feel like much, but trust me, it is. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Good, set one of those weights down. Oblique side bends. Weight in your right hand to start, please. Hand down by your side, up here, wherever you want it to be at, even on your hip. Three, two, one, here we go. 
slow down, crunch those sides, Good job, almost ready to switch. Three, two, one, other side, finish it out, this is it. Last thing you gotta do for round one, and then you'll pause the video, go grab some water, and we'll do this all over again for round two. Remember with this class, you don't have to do all four rounds with me. However much time you have today, that's what I want you to dedicate, okay? Each round is right about 12 minutes. If you only have 30 minutes, then two rounds is gonna be just perfect. Last three, two, one. Very good, all right, you know what to do. Round two, starting with those cherry pickers. We'll go in three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Explode up and then slow down. I think you don't want to drop those cherries. You've got a lot in your hand. You're going to explode up to get them, and you've got to slow that twist down and gently place them in that bucket. Four, three, two, other side, go. Explode up. Get up there. Those cherries are at the top of that tree. Last 10. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, good mornings with our one dumbbell. Unless you have a bar at home, I want you to use that. I encourage you to use that, okay? Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Halfway. Feel that pull in those hamstrings, the small of your back. You gotta push those hips back, you guys. You gotta go into flat back. You gotta push those hips back. That's how we activate the muscles we want to with good mornings. Five seconds left. Give me one more. Three, two, one. Very good. Little breather here. Get ready for those goblet squats. We've already got our weight, so we can just wait here. Ready? Remember, feet are just a little wider than shoulder width, but your toes are forward. Three, two, one, begin. Quality over quantity. I don't care how many squats you get done or any of our next movements. Don't even count your reps. Focus on your form. Focus on building strength. Already over halfway. seconds left and then we're down to the ground for our half kneeling exercises three two one have everything over with you one for your row two for your biceps curls three two one begin
Job you ready to switch. Four, three, two, one. Switch your kneeling position. Weight in the other hand. Go as soon as you're set. Remember what I said last round. Even though we're half kneeling, you still gotta push those hips back, okay? If you need to extend farther distance, then take that back knee down and lean forward more, okay? Especially if you have longer arms, it's gonna help. Last five. Three, two, one. Very good. Get ready for biceps. I had my left leg forward last time. I'm gonna use my right this time. Doing four rounds today, so that way I have a good mix. And I'm balancing my core equally. Three, two, one. Curl it up. But if you can't kneel on one of your knees or it's uncomfortable, then stick with the other one. I am just working on my balance on both sides. You gotta really slow down those curls. Remember, we don't wanna be wobbling. The rest of our body is a statue. You gotta plant that knee, plant that front heel, shoulders sit back, contract the core. A lot going on. Fifteen seconds left. Then we'll take it up off of our mat and up for those lunge pass unders. We'll go there in five, three, two, one. Very good. Grab that weight you've got for those lunges. Again, take your time, slow it down. Get that back knee down, okay? Three, two, one, begin. And make sure your other hand has that weight first and then transition into stepping back, okay? Don't start stepping backwards if you haven't even transitioned that dumbbell yet. It gets you to really pause and hold that lunge a little longer. Halfway. Not just when you raise the weights up. Nice one to two second pause with those upper arms resting on the floor. Squeeze those glutes, get those hips up. Don't let them slowly fall. Just 15 seconds left. And then we'll take it back up. We've got that angled tricep extension next. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good, bring it on up. Right arm, three, two, one, begin. Ten seconds left, come on, you can do this. 
Don't stop. I know it burns. Three, two, one. Switch and go. Okay, really extend that arm. Don't leave a bend in your elbow at the top. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good. Shoulder shrugs. Grab those heavies. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Job. Remember what I said last round about your grip on your dumbbells? Not too tight. Slow it down. Drop 10 seconds left. Time for about two more. Last five, three, two, one. Set one of those weights down. Oblique side bends to end it out. Right hand, three, two, one, begin. If you have your hand down like me, really focus on bringing those fingertips to the side of the knee, just like you're taking that dumbbell to the side of the knee, okay? Last 10 on this side. Three, two, one, switch. Ten seconds left. We'll pause it, we'll grab water, and we'll come back for round three. Three, two, one. All right, see you back here. Round three, back to those cherry pickers. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Begin. Remember, quick to the tree, slow to the bucket. Awesome job, halfway on this side. I know those legs are getting tired, but I still need to explode up tall. Come on. Three, two, one, very good. All right, good mornings. Take your time, catch your breath. Here we go, three, two, one, begin. Push those hips back. You gotta feel it in the hamstrings, the back of your thigh.
Last ten. Three, two, one. Very good. Take your time. Catch your breath even more. Get ready for goblet squats. We'll go in less than ten seconds. Go ahead and get your feet planted and ready. Those toes are forward. Three, two, one. Begin. Slow it down. Job. Sit back in those heels. Thirty seconds left. Four, three, two. One, very good. All right, half kneeling, bend on the roll. And then next after that is biceps curls. So have all of your stuff ready. Here we go, row. And switch. Job about five seconds left. Three, two, one, good job, get set for biceps curls. I'm going back to my left leg in the front. Remember, I'm switching every other round, but do what works for you, and let's curl. If you are switching, if you are alternating like I am, do you feel like you wobble on one side over the other? I know I do, so that's what I'm working on. That core stability, working on balancing and distributing my weight equally between my front heel and my back knee. Job. Limit that wobbling, 10 seconds left. Then we'll come away from our mat. Three, two, one, very good. Lunge pass unders. Work on getting that back knee really down, okay? Three, two, one, begin. Job, way to power back to the start. Nice forceful push off there with that front foot. Twenty seconds left. Ten.
three, two, one. Very good. Down to the ground. Glute bridge hold for that floor chest press. Three, two, one. Begin. Nice pause at the bottom still. Don't forget that. How much can you stabilize those weights in your hands? Kind of like with our half kneeling position where we didn't want to wobble too much. When you're moving these dumbbells, see how in control you can be without your wrists going forward or backwards with those weights. Get those hips up. Almost there, you guys. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Very good. Come down. On that angle tricep extension. Start with the right hand. Three, two, one. Begin. Ten seconds left. Come on. I know after that chest press, these burn. Let's go. Four, three, two. Other arm. Go, go, go. And time. Awesome job. Shoulder shrugs. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Halfway. Get those shoulders up. Ten seconds left. That is it. Then we'll end with those oblique side bends. And you are done with round three already. And time. Awesome job. Weights down. We'll start in that right hand for those oblique side bends. Remember, we're really trying to get that weight down to the side of our knee, okay? Three, two, one. Begin. Your arm and your weight stay real close to your body, okay? Don't angle them out. In fact, this hand hasn't left my leg. I just let it slide down and then slide back up with me, okay? Same with the weight. The dumbbells graze the side of my leg, keeping it nice and close. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Ten seconds left. We'll pause it, grab some water, and then you've got one final round left. 
three, two, one. All right, see you back here for round four. Round four, cherry pickers. Three, two, one, go. Job, get the tallest cherries up there. Halfway. Good job. I know we're starting to get tired, but I really need you to focus on your form, okay? When we start to get fatigued, that's when form is crucial. One wrong movement, and that's how we get injured, okay? So focus, slow down. Three, two, one, very good. Bring that weight to the front. We'll get situated for those goblet squats. Widen that stance, those toes are forward. Three, two, one, begin. Job. Way to slow down that squat. We're sitting back on those heels, resetting up at the top. Ten seconds left. That's it. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right. Bend over roll in that half kneeling position. Three, two, one, begin. Using that upper back to pull this weight up. Bringing that shoulder blade to the center. Here I did a switch. Four, three, two, one other side. Five, four, three, two, one, very good. Biceps curls are next. 
Whatever hot mealing setup you would like. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Job halfway, limiting that wobble as much as we can, really isolating those biceps curls. Especially taking those legs out of it. It's a lot of focus on the biceps to do it by itself. Because when we stand, those legs kind of stabilize you and kind of assist. But now they're not helping as much. Three, two, one. Very good. Bring it on up. Lunge pass unders. We are so close to being done with class, you guys. Just stay with me, all right? Forward lunge with that pass. Three, two, one. Begin. Job. Almost done. Ten seconds left. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. Down to the ground. Nice stable glute bridge. Hold. Three, two. One, begin. Good job. We are almost done with this already. I feel like we just started. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Get ready for those triceps. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Almost there. Four, three, two, one. Switch. Shoulder shrugs, 
Just two more exercises left, you guys. These ones are easy. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Good job. Really hold the top. I know it's round four. But we're not just, I don't know, I don't know, we're not just shrugging those shoulders like we don't know what we're doing, right? We don't have too tight of a grip on our wrist. Good job. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Set one of those weights down. Get set for those side bends. Keep the weight. Keep your arm nice and close. Four, three, two, one. Begin. Job. Just 10 seconds left, and then we'll switch. And then you have 30 seconds left of work to do. That is it. Three, two, one. Other side. Here we go. Finish strong. Last 10. Three, two, one. You are done. Awesome job today.